All right, Black Goose family, what's good with it? I'm back with some more boxing news for y'all. Uh, in case y'all haven't been keeping up with things, I feel like a lot has happened since the Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz fight. The, the, the power has been restored when it comes to the heavyweight vision. I know Eddie Hearn has been ecstatic over the last couple of days because, um, you know what I'm saying, if y'all don't know, I made a video uh, back when Andy Ruiz beat Joshua saying how you know, a lot of the power is in the PBC uh, company and Al Heyman because, you know, basically all the heavyweight belts was with them. Shout out to the comment that I got this morning, or it was either yesterday, I can't remember off top, so I think it was this morning. He was all, it ain't like that no more, and that's a fact. Uh, Eddie Hearn is back in power, you know what I'm saying? He has all the control. Deontay Wilder is no longer the A side. Um, he's been the A side ever since Joshua lost to Ruiz, but now that Joshua got his belt back, even though Joshua has that L to Ruiz, it doesn't matter. Joshua is now the A-side again. He controls everything. Eddie Hearn controls everything. So now we're back to stage one, square one, and uh, it's going to be on Wilder. Excuse me, y'all. It's going to be on Wilder and PBC to, if they want that fight to happen, it's going to be on them to budge. You feel me? They're going to have to get a little uncomfortable. They're going to have to uh, uh, compromise a little bit, do a couple sacrifices if they want that Joshua fight. They want the unification uh, fight. Wilder wants all the belts because it is what it is. Joshua's A-side. So if y'all disagree with me, I want to know if y'all uh, if y'all do. Uh, let, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know your opinion. Um, I want to talk about this too. Uh, when it comes to now the powers being switched, Wilder's now the B-side, Joshua's the A-side. Where does Tyson Fury fit into all this, right? Uh, well, obviously, in my opinion, Tyson Fury is now the C side. What does that mean? Tyson Fury is on the lowest of the podium. Why is that? It doesn't make any sense when the zone and top rank have already had dealings earlier in this year. And Bob Earl and Eddie Hearn seem to be at least on a, 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 a type of terms in their relationship where they'll actually do some type of business if it seems right for both sides. Something that PBC and the zone doesn't have necessarily or PBC and top rank. Uh, and, and obviously there's Golden Boy promotions out there, but they don't have no heavyweight, so there's no point for me to even throw them in here. So, um, what am I saying? What am I, what am I getting at? Why is Tyson Fury the C uh, uh, side, in my opinion? Well, that's just because, well, Tyson Fury has already said he doesn't have too many fights left, right? He said three fights max. Um, he's already doing his thing with the WWE. That seems like something he's going to end up doing after he retires. He has options, right? He's a big name. He's a big star, but he has options. He's already proven himself in comparison to maybe like a Wilder or a Joshua. Um, he doesn't have much more he needs to do in the boxing game unless he wants to do it. So it's like for him, unless he wants to fight Wilder, unless he wants to fight Joshua, he doesn't have to, right? But he wants to fight Wilder. He wants to finish that trilogy fight. That would be a big fight for him to uh, get. Um, he said he wouldn't fight Joshua if Joshua loses to Ruiz, but Joshua won. So I'm going to be interested to see if he'll be fight, interested in fighting Joshua, maybe as one of his three fights uh, before he leaves the ring. It'll be a, a hell of a fight, a lot of money. Do that in the U.K. So, um, But I still believe if Fury fought Joshua, he would be the B-side to Joshua. I believe when the Fury... Wilder fight got made. I still believe Fury is the B side to Wilder, slightly, not by much, but slightly. Um, and so that's why I do think Fury is the C side when it comes to the three headed monster in the heavyweight division. What do you guys think about that? Let me know your opinion. And then also, I'm going to talk about Andy Ruiz, right? Everyone's talking and, and getting on the fact that Andy Ruiz, uh, it's either like, yo, you're making excuses, take the L and move on, or they're disappointed because. If those excuses are true, the only person you can blame is yourself because you chose not to be properly prepared for a fight that was basically the biggest fight of your life. What I want to talk about is the fact that I don't believe Andy Ruiz will ever get a shot like this ever again. All right? When you look at the way, like, you know what I'm saying, I was just talking about the power, the way the pendulum swings. Eddie Hearn has all the control. Eddie Hearn probably has the deepest stable of heavyweights when it comes to all of the promotional companies. So... Why would you give someone who is not in your management team or does not uh, a, a fight on your promotional card or, your, or, 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 or a fight on your promotion on a regular basis another opportunity just to have the power go? That doesn't make any sense, all right? When the contracts were signed, uh, if Joshua loses, there's a rematch, right? If Ruiz loses, there's no rematch, right? That's all it is. There's, no, there's nothing in the contract where there's a trilogy fight, right? So anybody who's trying to uh, be in uproars is saying Andy Ruiz deserves a, a trilogy fight. It's not how the game goes, man. Andy Ruiz was blessed 
with a win. What I mean by that doesn't mean it was lucky. Because I, I picked Andy Ruiz to, to win the second time. I still believe if Andy Ruiz would have trained properly, if he would have done the right things and prepared properly. Uh, like, all he really had to prepare for was the jab. He didn't necessarily have to prepare for the movement because a, a movement can be dealt with easily simply by uh, practicing your footwork and learning how to cut off the ring. You can't just cut off the ring with your footwork. You have to cut off the ring with combinations. But it's easy to prepare for a mover. It's hard to prepare for a mover with a good jab. So he just really had to really practice, practice, practice on what he's going to do uh, to basically counter attack the jab that Joshua was obviously going to use. Everyone knew his game plan. He said it himself. We said it himself, and he didn't prepare for it. And I think because Ruiz thought he knew his game plan, he thought it would be easy for him to stop it. But how can you stop a game plan if you don't prepare for that game plan? It doesn't matter what you think in here. You have to work the body so the body and the mind matches, right? And he didn't do that. So I do personally think that Andy Ruiz, man, he'll never get a shot like this again unless Wilder blesses him with one. Wilder's the only person I can see actually fighting Ruiz and giving him another shot at the belt, but I don't see why Anthony Joshua ever would. I don't see if Anthony, if Andy Josh, Joshua somehow loses to one of the guys over in Eddie Hearn's stable. I don't see any of them giving Andy Ruiz an opportunity. Um, Pulev, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to make a video about what's going on with Pulev. So uh, unless somehow Adam Kramanaki gets his hands on uh, the IBF belt, which is in Joshua's hand, doesn't look like he's going to end up... Um, um, vacating like a lot of people were expecting because they, they, they thought he didn't want to he didn't want that pull up fight um, Not because he's running just because it's not you know, it's not a really a draw um, Yeah, but what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about everything? I'm talking about what are you guys opinion on it? If you disagree with me, let me know uh, and state why you disagree with me If, if y'all ain't feeling nothing I'm saying and also remember to like comment subscribe check out the new music that's out by us um, We appreciate the feedback. We appreciate the the likes. We appreciate y'all supporting us. Just keep rocking with us We got more content coming out got more music Stay up, Black Goose family.